In today's video, we're gonna check out some cool add-ons and generators that allow you to create clothes and their accessories really fast. From fully clothed characters to their cloth materials, laces, belts, zippers, stitches, buttons, you name it. Really cool stuff. So I recommend you stick around till the end because I'm sure it's gonna be useful. First of all, if you need a fantastic add-on for creating clothes and cloth simulations, I recommend Simply Cloth. This add-on has a side panel that regroups all the necessary operations for cloth creation, which eliminates the need of going back and forth between various menus of Blender. And we all know how time-consuming that can be. Among the things that Simply Cloth can do, we have a simulation button to convert the pattern into clothes, as well as cloth parameters, pressure adjustments, sewing options, and much more. And from the same developer, we have Simply Material which goes hand in hand with Simply Cloth, allowing you to create fabric materials for a wide range of clothing items. So if you want to create a piece of cloth, Simply Material will help you add materials to it and make it look great and beautiful. And if you want to add cool stuff to your characters, like armors with their detailed and repetitive patterns, there is Simply Micro Mesh, which lets you do all of that. Now, we're gonna jump to the new annals and generators that we haven't talked about on this channel, beginning with three different add-ons that allow you to have different accessories that you probably don't have the time or the effort to create yourself. So this is gonna be really helpful, hopefully. First of all, we have Laces Generator, which is an add-on that allows you to generate high-quality shoelaces. The add-on is easy and simple to use. You just need to add laces from the asset library and then customize a bunch of stuff, and voila you've got yourself your shoelaces ready to be used in a short amount of time. The laces are fully procedural, and they have consistent trim UVs to make them look highly realistic and detailed, but also optimized to be used in anything. The add-on, of course, is based on geometry nodes because everything is nowadays, so you can customize a lot and a lot of stuff, such as the density, bend pinch, twist, width, highlight scale, depth, and more. By the way, you can also customize the general look of the laces by editing in the edit mode. Next we have Belt Maker that will help you make various kinds of belts. You might think to yourself, this is probably the most useless add-on you've ever seen. But since over a hundred people bought it, it must have something unique. I mean, it must have something more than meets the eyes. So let's see. The add-on contains a bunch of different kinds of belts, and most of them are cowboy belts. You can add the belts to the asset library and then customize them depending on what you want. It allows you to adjust the length, scale, and add holes. Also, you can control the stitches spreading, length, thickness, offset, or you can just turn them off. Additionally, you can drop your own meshes and objects into buckles and extra collections to make your own customizable belt. Overall, it is a great add-on and it works really well. And I think considering the options it gives you, it might save you a bunch of hours working on these belts yourself, not mentioning the fact that it gives you great results. Wrapmaster is another cool add-on that we have on today's video. This one lets you wrap fabrics around your 3D models. This is probably a great add-on because it allows you to do a bunch of different stuff. Like the other add-ons, this one has different parameters that give a better control over the wrap effect. For example, you can change the overall length, the width, noise, frequency, roughness, strength, and a lot more. Moving on, we have several cool add-ons that we're gonna go over. All the add-ons are based on geometry nodes, and they allow you to generate procedural objects. So first we have geometry nodes procedural zippers, which allows you to generate zippers and apply them on top of any object that you want. The add-on works by letting you draw zippers on top of objects and models, and you can choose to draw between various styles of zippers by combining different zipper heads and teeth. There are 4 zipper heads and 5 zipper teeth variations that you can combine to make a zipper according to your needs and preferences. Also, all the elements are pulled from a collection. This means that you can put your own custom zipper elements inside the collection and start to generate custom zippers procedurally based on the elements you put in. And using an add-on like this is really simple. But I will show you how it works really quickly. First, you need to append the zipper curve into your file from the original Blender file that contains the add-on. 
then go to the modifier tab where you will find a geometry nodes modifier and here you can see a bunch of different parameters that allow you to customize the zipper and you can also select the object that you want to put the zipper on after that you can go to the edit mode and select the pen tool with surface selected to draw on surfaces and start drawing your zippers onto your models the add-on enables you to customize the zippers by adding your own materials changing the original zippers head and tooth index in addition to opening the zipper and determining the opening width the best feature of this add-on is that you can simulate the zippers by creating the geometry converting the curve into a mesh and using a surface deform to attach the zipper to a surface and simulate it correctly we also have another one called geometry nodes procedural stitches this tool as the name suggests allows you to add realistic stitches onto your models just like the zippers you can select the object that you want to give stitches to and customize the pattern as you wish and the add-on has currently six standard patterns that you can use which are line stitch horizontal line stitch vertical cross stitch bubble line stitch v stitch horizontal and v stitch vertical these patterns can be adjusted to generate customizable new ones according to your needs and your project's needs and using this add-on is similar to the previous one you just have to add additional parameters that allow you to customize the stitches more to fit the style that you are looking for for example you can change the stitch distance radius length rotation and more and using the stitches from this add-on will add so much realism to your clothes on a side note you can also make some cool abstract objects with it just saying in case you need it last but not least we have geometry nodes procedural buttons this one lets you create buttons in all kinds of shapes and sizes this tool allows you to customize a bunch of different stuff around buttons such as the sizes and distances of the buttons also softness and stitch size the workflow with this add-on is similar to the previous ones as well because they share the same principles and they are created by the same developer so if you knew how to use one the other one is gonna be a no-brainer this add-on also allows you to add your own custom buttons instead of using the procedural buttons and you can do that by using a dedicated node group that the add-on comes with and this will let you customize the buttons even more and gives you more creative control so guys if you are interested in one of these add-ons you will find all the necessary links in the description i hope you guys found this video useful and informative if you did please give it a thumbs up you can also check some of our previous videos thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one